Are you familiar with the concept of pleomorphic cells? Have you encountered that in your I, in your journeying? Huge, huge. I love it. That actually mirrors what I feel internally <laughs> to be true. You know, I've yeah. seen enough like miraculous healing aspects in like immediate miraculous healings to know that the notion of pleomorphism is a real thing. So, um, yes, why don't you define for people what pleomorphic cells are, like what they actually do? Yeah, well, the, the idea, as far as I understand, is that there are these cells in sort of undifferentiated states. They're, they're like potential cells that can spring into manifestation as different forms that we would then identify as a bacteria or a virus or, but it comes from an undifferentiated cell that has the potential to become anything within a certain scope. And, you know, Wilhelm mm -hmm. Reich proved like the existence of pleomorphic cells as well and showed how mm -hmm. in a totally controlled environment, you could see organisms pop up from nowhere, essentially. Um, there are right. other other works like the work of Jacques Benavist who proved the like the the, the memory of water in, in a in different way. He would have a sterilized environment, and he would just convey along wires into the sterilized environment the vibrational essence of a bacteria, and he could grow the bacteria in the sterilized environment through vibrational conduction. So. Um, I, I do think, like, I'm, I'm not sure about this, Topher, but I think that pleomorphism is a possibility. And it would it would speak to this idea that it's almost like your your body goes through a checklist or a, a, a scan to determine what would be the most beneficial organism for you to, uh, that you need in that moment for your soul's evolution. Because everything, mm -hmm. like illness, especially chronic disease, chronic disease is there as a messenger for the individual that's sick to learn where they're stuck in their evolutionary process. 